Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to use Azure Just-in-Time for Azure Virtual Machines to reduce your attack surface. We will understand how to use this feature and moreover we will understand the benefits of uh, this feature, how we can reduce the attack surface and vulnerability or infiltration to my VMs. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the, I'll go to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I'll click on Workload Protection under Cloud Security. It will come up. So I'll click on, under Advanced Protection, I'll see Just-in-Time VM Access to Unprotected Resources. click on here you click on virtual machines you click on not configured so these are the virtual machine this VM is protected by an NSG that allows access to management ports so there are two VMs ACS lab win and the ACS lab Linux which has the public IP and which are vulnerable right so if you select the win VM here, enable just in time on VM1. If you select it, port 22389. So on the, on this VIM access, uh, sorry, just in time VIM access configuration, we'll just keep the 3389 port and we'll delete the others. like this i'll click on save to apply the changes okay now i will see the configure tab my just in time uh, feature is enabled on acs lab win i'll click on this I'll do this. I'll go to my virtual machines. I'll go to ACS lab win. On connect, I'll do RDP. It says a request the access, right? So I'll return to the VM blade and on the connect page, I'll do request the access, request the JIT access or just in time access. I'll request it. It says requesting just in time access on port 3389. The request can take up to a few minutes. request is approved i'll get an option to download the rdp file i'll open up the rdp file i'll do connect i should see the prompt for the local admin to enter my local admin username and password. It's initiating the remote connection. Okay, I have it. Now I will use the, I think I've used let me check if I have the correct username or password. I'll, I'll reset it as well, but you get the idea of
Oh, the username was Sir. Wait. Let me go to my downloads. I believe I have forgotten my username and password, but you get the op you get the idea. Like you have to request the access, and then you will be able to connect, right? So this is how you enable the just in time access. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.